Hi guys, it's me Random TJ. So today I'm going to build a device that is going to help us uh, measure uh, the density of certain liquids. So let me demonstrate it to you. The thing is quite simple. Here we have our glass and we'll fill it with some water. Okay. okay, so the thing is simple. Uh, here we have a test tube and these things are quite cheap. You can also steal it from laboratories, whatever. So as I dip the test tube inside the glass, you can see that the level of the water is rising. Let me show you from another angle. So you can see the level of the water rising. We all know that the uh, amount of the liquid displaced by the submerged part of the uh, object put inside it is same and that is how we measure volume and I'm going to use that technique to measure density of certain liquids not just water any liquid so the thing is that the amount of water the liquid displaced by this test tube will differ from liquids having different densities so the basic things we need to make this are uh, something like a test tube uh, it will be better if it's lighter and some weights to be added uh, i'm using these steel spheres and you can also use this uh, stone balls right here so the concept is that uh, if i don't add the weight to this test tube it will just float because of the air inside it so what i need to do is add a little bit of weight okay so as you can see the weight is uh, too much for the test tube to float in the liquid because it is just uh, sinking down because the uh, it's not the fault of the steel sphere it is the fault of the weight of this test tube because it's made of glass it's very dense and it is uh, supposed to sink down so what I'm going to use instead is a syringe. These are made of plastic, which is good. So as I take this, you can see it actually floats. Doesn't hit the wall, stabilizes itself and also floats. But the problem is the water is also sinking inside because there is a hole. So to stop this hole, I'll put a screw on the mouth. So, with the help of a screwdriver, just block the nozzle or the mouth, whatever. Okay. Now there is no chance of the water getting in like this. So in order to tune this, I need uh, a control setup, kind of. So here I know that this uh, water, pure drinking water has a density of 1 gram per centimeter cube. So as I dip it, the point that will march with the surface of the water will be marked as 1. And then I'll do it with another uh, liquid, for example, uh, as I have right now, I have kerosene and mustard oil. So I will do with, for example, mustard oil and then I will take the reading and I will search the net and I will get to know what is the density of the mustard oil. So taking that difference, I will tune the rest. So let me just dip this in. I know the paper is going to get wet, but I also have to take the reading so nothing can be really done. Before I do it, let me add all the weights. I'm also going to use this cap to block this right here so that it doesn't let any water come inside and increase the weight. So here we go. So this is the new reading and this one I'll just tune it with one point something. Okay so I have removed all the water from the glass and now I'm going to add paint oil 
so paint oil has a different density and i'm going to measure it just to find the difference between the two measures one density of the water that is one one percent meter cube and this one Okay, so here is the reading for the tarpin, uh, tarpin oil or the paint oil. Uh, unfortunately, it has gone out of range. I will fix that later. But as we can see that this is actually working perfectly because there is a clear difference between the two densities. So let me just uh, search the internet and write it down. Okay, so got the reading. It's 0 0.86. And as I have said, the higher the mar the marking, the lesser the value, and that is what we can see right here, 0 0.86, which is lesser than one. Now I have to do it with something else. Uh, I'll take the difference, which comes as. One point seven centimeters, and the the difference between these two is. Okay, so here you have heart peak. My mother will surely kill me if she gets to know about it, but still for the sake of the experiment. Let's just give it a try. The hard part about is is filling it back in whatever okay so as it seems it's the same level as that of the water just a little below so let me see if uh, the internet says the same And yes, here we go. So, as the internet says, the density of heart peak is almost uh, equal to 1, and if a bit more accurate, 1.1. So, the experiment is a success. Uh, I hope I had some better liquid that had much higher density so I could get a reading much below that. That would be uh, much more satisfying. But okay, for the sake of the experiment, it does work. And now you can just use this to just dip it in some liquid and then see the marking. And determine the density of the liquid so this is all for today i hope you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye